Hello and welcome back to my channel. Do you like planets? Today we are going up to bring two people together. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's see what we have here. This is our new document. First we will bring our first picture. This guy. Okay, stretch it down a little bit. Okay, then we make mask and go to our brush, the normal faded brush, make it a little bit smaller with the black color selected. You erase this part. maybe we can stretch it down a little bit more then I will make adjustment layer curves adjustment layer on top of it and clip it and reduce the lightness like so and maybe I'll make another layer on top of it color balance layer and move the colors towards the green a little bit and bring all those three together while holding shift then control G to make a group call this sky 1 or down sky whatever you want maybe we can remove this we don't want this anymore then we can bring our next sky our second sky here position it and put it under the other sky like so and maybe we can also add on top of it a curves adjustment layer clip it and bring down the lightness a little bit put them both in a group and call this sky 2 then we can bring our planet this one for example I already cut everything then control C copy and we go to our project Control V. Now, obviously, it's too big. Bring it on top. Control T. Control Zero. Then bring it down like so. Control Zero to fit to screen. And bit it here then make a new layer on top of it curves adjustment layer clip it to the planet and bring down the lightness a little bit and also a point here for the contrast then in the layer and the mask layer of the layer of the planet itself bring your brush make it smaller and try to remove some down parts to look like it is inside the sky the clouds sorry we can adjust everything later but I think it's okay for now bring these two together group call this planet maybe red planet it's not so red but okay for now okay what else can we bring I guess we can bring this black control 
كنترول في كنترول تي كنترول زيرو تو ماتش شورت كاتس ميك ات ليتل بيت سمولر اوكي كنترول زيرو and also we will do same as we did for the other one curves adjustment layer clip it to affect only this planet bring it down the lightness a little bit then in the layer mask of the planet itself with your brush selected black brush black not white make it a little bit bigger and remove some parts of the planet I think this planet is much bigger than this one so I want to make it a little bit smaller like so maybe I can put it on top of this just to know the sizes you don't have to be exact but it's better to be almost same size Okay, that's okay for now. Put them both in group, control G. Rename this blue planet. Okay, what else can we bring? So this one, no, this one, this one we already took. We can close this one, we don't need it anymore. <laughs> also this one, we already used. No, not this one. Okay, we can take this man. I already cut it. Control C. Control V. Control zero. Control T. Control zero. To make him so much smaller. I'll put him here on top of this. Flip horizontal. Then okay. I think he needs to be more smaller. Like so. Okay. Control zero. Our lighting source will be from this side in the whole design. So on top of this man. I'll make curves adjustment layer, clip it and bring down the lightness like so overall. Then I will make another curves adjustment layer or maybe in the, in, in this uh, mask or the mask of this layer with the brush selected. I will try to make his right side a little bit brighter by removing the effect from here. Why it's not removing? X. Yes, I want this to be a little bit brighter than this side because the light will be hitting from this side. And on top of this layer, I will add another layer, clip it to affect also the man. And with the white color selected, I will draw some whites on him and change this to let's see linear, linear. Don't know it's too much screen still it's too much maybe we can make it screen then reduce the obesity to around 40 or something for now or maybe much less 30 32 then I'll make all this in one group and call this man okay okay for now on top of the red planet I can bring this guy we finished it then maybe we can bring this lady we already cut control C then here on our control V control T Control zero and make here 
also small. Control zero to fit the screen. Make it more smaller. Right click, flip horizontal. Make here. I guess this is okay. Then click OK. I will try to bring her up a little bit with the move tool. OK. The light will be hitting from this side as we said. So <coughs> she is already OK. OK. With, on her uh, mask, with the brush selected, I will try to remove this part of, the, of her dress. I don't need all this okay then on top of this i will make another curves adjustment layer clip below reduce the amount of lightness on her like so then on the layer mask with the black brush selected i will remove the effect from this side to bring back some lights here i wanted this side, her left side to be darker than here, right side and also I can make as I did with the man I make a new layer on top of everything clip it to affect only this pride and with the white color selected I will bend some whites here maybe it was too much I think only only some of this change the blending mode to screen and reduce the opacity to around 30 ish that is okay for now. Group everything. Rename this woman. Okay. Inside the woman layer and under everything, I will take a copy of her while clicking Alt and dragging below. Okay. Right click, convert to smart object. Double click on this layer to bring the layer style, then color overlay, make it black. Ok, Control T to transform while holding Control, I will bring this shadow underneath here. And here in the warp tool, I will make it tweak it. To this side to fit the roundness of the planet just a touch not so much like so okay then I'll change the blending mode to multiply and reduce the opacity so much but the edges are very sharp right now so we will go to filter blur Gaussian blur I guess two point three is okay. Okay. So now the woman has her shadow. Back to the man layer and we will do the same. Take a copy of his uh, his layer and put it inside the group. Con uh, right click, convert to smart object double click on him color overlay black color selected ok change the blending mode to multiply ctrl T and bring him while holding alt bring him down going this side a little bit then with the warp tool and try to tweak it just a touch like so, or maybe no, but only I'll bring him up a little bit, the shadow, to fit underneath his legs, then reduce the opacity to something around 35, and with the filter, blur, Gaussian blur, I guess 2.3 also is okay. So now both of them has 
here his shadow okay what else can we add mm, I think we can close this we don't need it anymore for this castle let's, let's bring this castle Control C and here Control V Control T Control Zero and make it so much smaller so like so or even more. Okay, where we will put this castle? Control Zero to put the screen. We can take the man, all this, to this side a little bit. Okay, now this, I'll bring it in underneath this guy, yes, in this. And on the layer, layer mask, with the brush selected, and try to make it bigger. try to make this a little bit bigger I don't know why it's doing this okay and we'll remove this those parts and I think it needs to be a little more smaller like so okay Obviously, it's too bright, so on top of it, I will make, uh, sorry, I'll make a new adjustment layer, curves adjustment layer, clip it below, and reduce the lightness, like so. And also, I will go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur to give it this sort of depth. And I can also, with, with the layer mask selected, I can go to filter, other minimum, and give it two pixels to eliminate this white outline that was there before okay I think it may be need to be a little more dark like so yes put this two inside one group and call this castle okay now we can close this okay what else can we add we can take those right back here and maybe a little bit down and in this side we will put our mountain so you can take this clip I already cut it as I said control C control C here control V What is this? Okay. Control T, Control Zero, make it smaller and bring it to this side. And I will also bring it down underneath this sky. With the brush selected, 
I will remove those areas. On top of it, same curves clip reduce the lightness. I guess you already know the process now. Bring the lightness down and maybe I will go to the cliff and also blur it a little bit but not as much as we did with, with the castle we need just a touch of blur and now we can go back to the mask and try to eliminate some of this put them both in a group and call this cliff or mountain or whatever you like let's try to bring it a little bit down make it a little bigger I guess like so is ok also control zero for this harsh edge you can put it here to get rid of this edge ok now on top of everything I can put here and you make a new layer and bring one brush faded make it this big and make one dab here this will be our light source our Sun will be here and change the blending mode to screen Control T to make it a little bit bigger and also I can bring this photo here and put it here and rotate it like so to make the rays coming out of the sun make it a little bit smaller put it here and change the blending mode to screen to get rid of all the blacks see it's much better already but for those edges I will make layer mask and try to remove all those hard edges to give it a more realistic feel maybe you can rotate it just a touch ok and I can put, put this two in one group and rename it sum before after before after ok now it's time to bring the other uh, green planet this one we already used this planet we can bring this planet to our design here put it under the sun control T control 0 to see and I'll make it like so the light will be hitting from this side so I will rotate this because this part has already some lights on it so I will bring it like this and make it about here maybe a little bit bigger and I will bit put it I will give it just a touch of blur blur gaussian blur try this much ok for now put it in a group rename it green planet what else can we bring here we can bring some birds up here I have two groups of birds it's already BNG cut it 
make this a little bit smaller and put them here but much smaller because they are much far from the camera and the other group here we can put them around here under those rays of the sun and put those two in one group and call this birds okay mm, we forgot to make uh, shadows for the planets itself so underneath each of the planets from the blue planets for example this way here is the blue planet Underneath the blue light, I'll make a new layer and take the brush with the black color selected. I'll try to paint some shadows going this side because uh, the sun is hitting from here, so this must be coming from this side, like so, and change the blending mode to multiply and reduce the opacity. To around sorry around 20 23 is okay but I want to remove some of this shadow because it's too strong with the eraser the eraser this is not the eraser where is the eraser here okay and try to erase some of these parts here and also some of those parts here before after before after we will do the same with the, with the red planet under the red planet we will make another layer with the brush selected black color we will draw the shadows hitting this area change the blending mode to multiply then reduce the opacity to around 20 before, after, before, after. Okay. We can add here some trees to give some sort of dips. Here, this tree. I will use only one tree, but I will add it more than one time. I don't need all the tree. I need only this out, up, outside of the tree. So, I will put one here, I can take this to the top, okay, one here, while, while holding alt and drag, I will take another copy, control T, change it a little bit and make it a little bit smaller then I will take another copy alt and dragging to the other side control T make it a little bit bigger and rotate it a little bit here in order not to be looking as if you make a copy of it on top of this one, I will make curves adjustment layer, clip it, and reduce the lightness a little bit. And we will do the same for this one also. Curves, clip it, reduce the lightness, like so. And the same for the third one, on top of it, curves, clip it below and remove the lightness, but I will make it a little bit darker from the other one to give it this sort of depth. And then I will group all the trees inside 
one group control G and call this trees and on top of the, the group of the trees I will make a hue adjustment layer hue saturation adjustment layer clip it to affect only the trees and I will take the saturation down a little bit those saturations see the before and after before and after okay control zero to fit the screen do we have any other items no no other items okay now it's time for finalizing what can we do to make it look as if it is one scene on top of everything I can add a color lookup table sorry what is this this is color balance layer okay we need color balance layer also we can bring the greens a little bit higher because the whole mood of the, the story is going to the green color okay starting to look better already then we can take a color lookup table let's try teal orange it's really nice I love this one but it's too strong so I will reduce the opacity a little bit to something around 40 42 is okay yes this is really nice okay then control shift alt e this takes a screenshot of everything you did below convert to smart object then we will go to filter camera row filter okay then first I'd like to bring to click O2 to see how it suggests the image to be okay not bad but we can tweak it as we know as we want then I'll bring the texture a little bit higher the clarity also to add some details to the scene then I can also try to dehaze it a little bit the vibrance we can bring the vibrance down a little bit and then in the split toning I want to add some oranges in the highlights and add some of the greens to the shadows like so not so much like so and I always love to add in the FX tab some vignette to make the eyes concentrate inside the design okay let's see what we have after this is before this is after much much better okay what else can we do I will take another screenshot control shift alt e then also I'll convert to smart object then I'll go to filter blur Gaussian blur then I will make a higher amount of blur like so okay then I will make mask to this and with the brush black brush select I will remove the blur from the inside of the design make some dabs here and there this will make only the outer side of uh, you can switch between black and white with the X and bring back some blur here some blur here some blur here like so try to tweak it as much as you want before after before and after and I guess that's it for today thank you for watching that's it for today don't forget our code like subscribe share and ring the bell see you next time bye bye